Ladies and gentlemen, freedom-loving patriots, gather around as we dive into the latest episode of As the World Turns Left, starring none other than John Kerry, our very own climate czar, with a private jet so large it has its own gravitational pull. Have you ever noticed that every time John Kerry opens his mouth, a bald eagle loses a feather? Yeah, I think I saw one molting on my way over here. This week, our old pal Johnny was up at the World Economic Forum's Sustainable Development Impact Meetings, because apparently the world doesn't have enough meetings. He's mad, folks. Mad at what, you might ask? Well, not at rising gas prices or inflation. No, no, those are apparently just fine. But at the First Amendment, you know, that pesky little thing that gives us the right to free speech? Yeah, it's really cramping his style. So tough, everybody's wrestling with that right now. Um... And I think the the dislike of and anguish over social media is just growing and growing and growing. Uh, and it's part of our problem, particularly in democracies, uh, in terms of building consensus around any issue. It's really hard to govern today. You can't, you know, you know there's no, the referees we used to have to determine what's a fact and what isn't a fact have kind of, you know, been eviscerated to a certain degree. And um, people go and that people self-select where they go for their news or for their information. And then you just get into a vicious cycle. So it's really, really hard, much harder to build consensus today than at any time in the 45, 50 years I've been involved in this. And, and I, you know, there's a lot of discussion now about how you curb uh, those entities uh, in order to guarantee that you're going to have you know, some accountability on facts, et cetera. But look, if people go to only one source and the source they go to is sick and, uh, you know, has an agenda and they're putting out disinformation, uh, our First Amendment stands as a major block to the ability to be able to just, you know, hammer it out of existence. So what you need, what we need is to, is to win the ground, win the right to govern by hopefully having, uh, you know, winning enough votes that you're free to be able to, to uh, implement change. Kerry's up there at the podium telling everyone how frustrated he is that he can't control what you say and think because of that darn constitution. He's basically saying, how are we supposed to govern if people can speak freely? You see, the plan was simple. They'd spin their lies, their corrupt media backing them up, and we'd all nod along. Before you know it, they'd have us all living in eco-friendly yurts and eating bugs. But then along comes the internet. And worse, Elon Musk buys Twitter. Sorry, I mean X. And suddenly, everyone's a fact checker. Now, every time these globalists try to sell us on, you'll own nothing and be happy, there's a chorus on X calling them out. Really? Because last I checked, owning my car made me pretty darn happy. Carrie's frustration? It's like watching a magician get mad because the audience can see the wires. How dare these plebeians question our narratives with their, what's it called again? Oh yes, free speech. But here's the real kicker. Their biggest problem isn't disinformation. It's that you have access to the actual uncensored information. It's the truth. And let's not forget about this woke agenda they are pushing so hard. They want to wokeify everything, right? But instead of us falling into a deep slumber of compliance, platforms like X are like a loud alarm clock, ringing with posts and memes. Wake up, sheeple! Isn't just a saying, it's become the rallying cry against the lullaby of the leftist lunatics. And it's working! That's right, on platforms like X and Rumble, people are calling them out on their nonsense, and they hate it. When people see through their ridiculous policies, it makes it so much harder to sell their globalist utopia. You know, the one that looks suspiciously like communism, but with better branding. So here we are in this beautiful mess where information flows like beer at a tailgate party, and every tweet or X post or whatever we're calling them now is a little dart aimed at the balloon of globalist deception. Thank God for Elon and his digital town square, where the truth doesn't get a muzzle, it gets a megaphone. The harder they push their woke agenda, the more people are waking up. That's right, John, it's a whole different kind of woke, the truth woke. And while Kerry and his cronies might find this all very inconvenient, for the rest of us, it's the best show in town.
because nothing says democracy, quite like making sure everyone can speak, even if it does make governing as hard as herding cats. So, to all the free speech warriors out there, keep speaking up, keep tweeting or Xing or whatever we're calling it now, because nothing scares these globalists more than you with a smartphone in one hand and the First Amendment in the other. Let's keep putting spanners in the works of the globalist machine. God bless America and God bless free speech. Thanks for watching this video to the end. I hope you found it inspiring or at least entertaining. Check out my channel for more videos like this one and subscribe if you would like to see my future videos.